folks, welcome to this exciting video where you find me in the middle of a main road in Aberdeenshire here and today we're away to record a piece of cool history we're on just a little road trip over the Cairn Mountain yeah it is a little bit windy here but we're away to look at this cool abandoned building which is over here and also there appears to be some sort of stone structure on this hill behind us so yeah it is cool folks exploring history I've been at this site one time before, but I just absolutely love this landscape. When I was little and we used to drive past this, I always used to say, I wanted this to be my house, like, and you can see why, folks. It's a perfect location in the middle of this beautiful Scottish landscape, with a little stream there just rolling past your garden. Beautiful. And this is a steep 12% gradient we're on here. The horn has done well because the road up here is just insane. Again, there's a whole section that's just extreme uphill. But we're blessed with the sunshine today again as well, which just makes adventures so much better. Just think of the history with a house like this. Again, it's probably dating back to the early 1800s, maybe even older. And I think this had been like a little farm croft. So you can imagine this would have been maybe a little farmhouse and then all the fields would have been just down and around this lower line level here in front of the river. So it is cool to come and explore something like this and just imagine the history of the time period like. So interesting. The way these old dry stones was built around the front here, that would have been the fields and maybe even a couple of sheds and stuff over there. And at one time they maybe had a little farmhouse garden just out the front. But just check out the character of this old building, folks. The chimneys are still standing strong at the end. But that is often the case with these abandoned houses. And then look at the door. Step there. The way it's like carved into the stone almost. Maybe to help the water. When the water ran off the door, it would have ran off the doorstep. See, that sort of features... Little nuggets of history like that, folks, that you could miss so easily. Because this is all one piece of stone that's been carved to be like that. So that is so interesting. See, it's actually granite. Red granite, I think. Which Aberdeenshire is famous for the granite construction of its buildings. Yeah, you can see the holes there where the old door frame had been in there. Real Scottish history, folks. And once again, we're getting sheltered from this house from the wind. So even though there's no much of this house, it can still offer a shelter to somebody. And then there's been like little cupboards and stuff. This chimney at this end looks like it's in pretty good condition compared to the rest of the house. Insane scenes once again though, folks. So those marikins on the doorstep, folks, that just goes to show that, like, even when you've explored somewhere before or you've been somewhere before, you often uncover new details of the history. And Yeah, it's cool to document that before it's buried or gone forever. Or if this area gets redeveloped or bought, stuff like this could just get flattened. Oh, hey. It looks like there's been a little fountain of some sort there, eh? It's maybe been a little garden feature at a later time. No, unless somebody's been camping around here and they've had a little fire. Mm. And I think over here had been like maybe a little farm shed and some out like outside field kind of bitties. So you can just imagine folks, probably back late 1700s, early 1800s, the farmer would have been out here and like feeding a couple of sheep or whatever, maybe a couple of cows. And this is all that remains of that, probably what had been a family home back then for a farming family of the era. And I love the dry stone dike construction. See, like when you go to different areas and different counties, you see different styles of dry stone construction. They're all strong and last for years. But they're also, they've all got their own character. See, these walls are really wide at the bottom and then narrow at the top. And you can see how the big stones to the outside with the smaller ones 
parking it in the middle. But the style of this wall, it has fallen down in places. It's quite an area. And then it looks like a lot of people park over there. They're probably walking away up into the hills or something like that. Insane, folks. Sometimes we structures and walls like this too. The stones got moved and taken away. Kind of if they were building houses and sheds in the area. At one time they were allowed just to take what they wanted. See this, the side of this wall, it's not like a right angle like a lot of dikes. Look, it's a natural curve. They've done so well there with the stone construction. It's impressive. It's like they've built this whole outer section then they've just put those middle bits in. See, they might have been deep enough here to have a wee roof. So cool, folks. A little bit of Scottish history, just hidden here. Cairngorms National Park. And I think, like, th that stone structure that's up the other side of the main road, I think that could be an even older, maybe, house or a settlement which had been up there. So it would be interesting to have a look at that as well when we're here. Because it is cool going to spots that we've never been to before on the video, folks. I have seen this stuff and that before, but it's cool to document it again, see details that I might have missed. Different times of year, you can actually see more details. And I think this has definitely been a shed. Look, here's the door. Yeah, that has been the door there, folks. The shadow's not at a good angle, folks, with the winter sun, but it's like the building has stopped there and then they've extended that. It's so maybe had a wide door and then they've shortened it and just put a man-sized door in it. It does look like ancient construction. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, there could have been a proper track coming up and that's the main road in. See, maybe before the main road and stuff was over there even. Maybe there was just some old ford there through the river. Insane. The landscape around here, folks, it's just wild Scottish hill environments. Yeah, it's cool to have a, like a wide variation of stuff on my channel. Yeah, this is epic. This is so cool, folks. I love just exploring different landscapes. Seeing stuff like that hidden in the middle of it. It's amazing how much stuff is just all around. This is insane, folks. The wind is howling down this bit of the glen. But we're just about along to what I thought looked like an old structure. It's maybe literally just an old wall. But it could also be where there had been a house at one time. So this is it folks, see this square here that I'm standing on? There's like a square here with dikes all the way around it. And I thought this was what looked like it could have been a little patch where a house had been, but it's maybe literally just been a field or something. To the side, kind of, it could just be a field related to that little farm that we looked at at the bottom of the hill. It was cool to come another look though, just in case, so that like, we didn't want to leave any history undocumented, folks. I think the construction of this dry stone dike has been the same as what we saw at the farm at the bottom of the hill. And it is literally just out here on this wild hill. That's the main road at the bottom of the hill, and that's the, the wee Honda chilling in there. What a scene. Okay, these stones could have been here once again for like late 1700s, early 1800s. But history could be even older than that as far as a wall goes. Who would even know, folks? Look at this, folks. What a scene here with this old bridge. We're now down at the bottom of this hill. And I wanted to come down and get a different angle, different perspective. Here's Channel DJ above our heads. Check it out, the water's fairly pitty here. What a scene though, with the sun shining. Such a cool day for an adventure. Yeah, this has just been a wee short video. 
sometimes that's what we're all about on this channel folks we'll bring all just sorts of like variations of history okay and it's all about the adventure as well though, a lot of the time like exploring places like this trying to climb through the wilderness to see what's there i was disappointed there was nothing at the top of this hill but it was once again cool to see this little house and share it with the world and this is a granite bridge as well probably ancient but it is a busy road and yeah the main Cairn Amount Road folks it is set on the car because it's such a steep hill but it's always a fun adventure right folks welcome to the next location in this video this is just a brief roadside location because we've come back over the Cairn Amount from where you saw us a minute ago and it's a wee bit less windy here but still the breeze is blowing through but this is a cool spot because this used to be like a little inn kind of bit that people would have stopped at if they were making the long journey over the Cairn Amount back in the days of the horses and maybe even older like I'm not even sure what year this would date back to but it's like one of these roadside relics which I'm thinking would be 1700s at least okay. and it probably got ruined in like the late 1800s and stuff but look it's been a two story bitty and I'm not sure if they had like a bit of a, a pub or a bar kind of like the sort of old inns you could imagine the travellers coming and like the highwaymen going into maybe people making long journeys from the highlands across to the lower lands of like Aberdeenshire and Angus in the distance they would have stopped here to get a night's sleep or even in the winter kind of often these hills are wild and that's why the poles are up the side of the road that's so you can tell where the road is in the deep snow so maybe places like this was a, a place that people could get shelter and can it's a cool spot they could avoid storms until the morning and these chimneys could be the reason that this back wall's still standing stuff like that gives the structure rigidity and you can see there's been two downstairs fires and one upstairs and then look at the view that they were greeted with wow extreme winds blowing through there today folks that's like at the bottom of that hill is like the clatter and brig cafe and stuff like that and then the Auch and blair road but you can see there's been that's been built with the red granite and then there's the exterior wall of that it must have been outbuildings maybe they could have stabled their horses and stuff overnight if they were just like if they were just staying one night or something they would need somewhere for their horse to get like some hay to eat and maybe a drink of water I was just thinking there's an old wall over here folks so we'll go and take a look at this see what this is so look at this folks on the side of the wild hill it's got this other structure which I've never noticed before look there's two outside walls here just across from that end there's maybe been more buildings or an older building but this here has almost been built into the side of the hill that is crazy from a distance I almost thought it might have been a light shell or something but now I'm up close to it I can see it's massive stone constructions been a building I think because the walls are straight and square and that is a cool bit of undocumented history because I've never ever seen this building before Channel DJ is just waiting across in the car for this one folks so we'll make our way back over but yeah this was just a short little end in the video and we've managed to find this bit of history these walls are almost gone and buried on this hill forever another few years the heather will cover it over and this square meter of ground here will just look like the next and there could be history like that all over it's just lost so videos like this can be the thing that keeps them alive that's the cool thing about just recording all this random abandoned wonders folks it's been a big building this though because this is the other outside wall of it and it looks like there might have been more groundwork here it's been so long ago so there could have been more than just the inn because look here's another clear structure here folks look here's been the entrance into it 
and then there's been more separate rooms. So there has been an insane amount of construction in all these separate little buildings right here. This has been the back wall. And I'm just going to have one little look over here before then. I'm just about out of battery here, folks, on this adventure. Look at this deep hole, wow. So look, that's clearly been dug out for some sort of construction or use. Maybe related to the settlement. Maybe some sort of water supply or some other ancient thing. Maybe even some drainage. But that's the sort of history we love to find. Think how old this is, just on the wild hill. Wow. It has been such an adventure once again. I love the character of this old building. I do apologise for the wind in this episode, folks, but at least we can bring to you once again an adventure out here. This sort of building is just insane. Some of my favourite stuff to explore, the old granite stuff, just insane, folks. There's always so much new stuff to find to, because I've, I've looked around at that house and stuff before and never even noticed all this. So like the more you explore, the better you get at finding abandoned history. And I'm just lucky I can share it with the world. Alright folks, I've come back into this ancient structure, out of the wind, to do this out row. So I'll end this one here. It's been a cool adventure looking at that wee house up further up the glen and then this little inn, or the old construction of it. And Think of the history that's passed since it's been here. It's just almost gone now to the wild hell. But we've documented it today, so it's cool. But I'll end this one here. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for me. Goodbye for the channel, DJ. And we'll catch you very soon, folks, for the next adventure. <laughs>